Today, we are going to learn how to design and simulate a residential solar edge system in PVSYST. We will create a new project, then go over the electrical design for a residential system. We will explain how to calculate shading losses and set up the project to be simulated. First, we will create a new project. Click on Project Design, then Grid Connected. This is the main system screen. We will first choose a project site. Now we will save the project. This residential system consists of 23 300 watt modules. We will first set the orientation and tilt, then move to the electrical design. Click on the orientation button to open the orientation screen. We will specify a tilt of 25 degrees and leave the azimuth at zero for a south-facing system. Click on the System button to access the system screen. Here, you will specify the electrical design, including the type of modules, inverters and power optimizers, as well as string lengths, DC loading ratios and various system derating factors. We first select the PV module. We now select the appropriate power optimizer to match the selected module. It is recommended to refer to the Solar Edge Designer program to verify compatibility between the module and the power optimizer you choose. This residential project has 6.9 kilowatts of DC power. We will choose the SE6000H inverter. We will divide the 23 module array into two strings. One with 12 modules and one with 11 modules. First we define a string with 12 optimizers. Then we change the number of subarrays to two and define the second string with 11 optimizers. The number of concerned inverters for each subarray is one and they are both connected to the same SE6000H inverter. To connect these two subarrays to the inverter, we click on Strings Configuration. We set the max number of strings to two, which is the number of strings we wish to connect to this inverter, and click on Reinitializes Inverter List. The system is now correctly configured and consists of one string from subarray 1 and one string from subarray 2. Click on OK to return to the system screen. Again click on OK to exit the system screen. And then click on Save to name and save the variant. Click on Detailed Losses to review and adjust different system derating factors. Of particular importance to the Solar Edge system is the LID Mismatch tab. With the Solar Edge system, there are no energy losses due to module and string voltage mismatch. Therefore, the values should be set to 0%. In contrast, for traditional systems, the module mismatch should be set to 2% and the string voltage mismatch to 0.1%. Click on OK. Click on Near Shading to create and edit the 3D shading scene. Click on Construction Perspective to open the 3D scene. To save time, we have loaded the previously created shading scene. The bottom row of the PV array is 12 modules long and the top row is 11 modules long. Close the shading scene file 
and select Linear Shading. Click on the Table button to calculate the irradiance loss factor over the entire year. Once the table is populated, you can close it and press OK to return to the main system screen. Press the Save button to save the simulation variant. To calculate the electrical losses due to shading, we will activate the Module Layout section. Select the All Subfields tab and make sure the module orientation matches the layout in the 3D scene. In this case, Portrait, and click Set All Modules. If the String Attribution interface appears on the left side of the screen, it means the modules have been successfully stringed and configured. Click on Auto Attribution, then on Distribute All, and once the modules have been colored in with strings, click on Close. Click on Use in Simulation, then on OK to return to the main screen. Congratulations! The project is now ready to be simulated.